Hi, in this video I'm going to be covering the AND and the OR function. Now in it by itself, the AND or OR functions aren't really that useful, but in combination with other functions, they prove to be very useful. So let's get to a description of one of the functions, the AND function. So if I type equal AND, you can see that the little, little tip here tells me what it does. Basically, it checks if all the arguments are true. So when you use the AND function, let me go ahead and complete this here, it takes uh, a set of arguments, uh, logical arguments. And so basically, in these arguments, you're saying if something equals something uh, comma and if something equals something else, if all these conditions are true, it will indicate a true. And if, the, if any of them are false, it will indicate a false. Now, with the OR function, that's a little bit different. Let me go ahead and type equal OR. The OR tells us if any of the arguments are true, then it's going to return a true. Um, otherwise, it's a false. So let's say, for example, uh, we, we also have this series of arguments. It could be up to, I think, 255 uh, potential uh, argument list. So if we say something is true here in the first argument and something is false here in the second argument, all you need to do is have one true and the output of uh, this particular function will be true. So let's best try with an example. Um, as I mentioned before, this particular function in it by itself is not particularly useful, but when you combine it with other functions, it provides a very useful tool. So let's try with the all function first. So in this example, I'm going to combine the and function and the or function with an if statement. In this example, let's say that I'm a company that ships worldwide. And my ship to country for the product, the build to country, and the eventual end user country are all different. But I want to do some analysis. And I want to figure out, maybe for in this first example in column G, which are the countries where all of these are the same. So this first example, this first row here in the table is a good example, where uh, the, the CA, 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 these are, these are uh, country codes. Uh, for the different uh, countries in the world. CA is Canada. So if these are all the same, uh, if all entries have Canada, it should be true. Um, if not, it will be false. So let's go ahead and see how we can put this formula together with the AND function. So let me go ahead and just put Canada up here first. And I'm going to reference cell D1 in my formula down here. So in here, I'm going to use an if statement equals if. And I'm going to say if uh, D6 equals uh, that cell, I'm going to go ahead and lock it and use the F4 key to lock it because when I copy the formula down, I always want it to reference D1. So that's the first test. Um, and I want to wrap that within the AND function. So I'm going to say AND over here. And you see now that I'm in that function. So there's going to be three tests because I have three columns here, ship to, build to, and user country. So the next logical argument is going to be this one. If this one equals uh, D1, and I'm also going to lock that one. And also, the third one is the end user country. If this one equals uh, D1, F4, F4 to lock that in. Now, if all these conditions are true, then I'm going to just put true. And I have to put true in uh, quotes, uh, text in quotes. And if it's false, I'll put go ahead and put false. Oops, let me go ahead and put false. Right? So basically, what this statement is saying is, if this condition, if it looks for this and, if this one, this one, this one, all equal CA, then the output is true. If they don't all equal CA, then the output is false. So I'll go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell. You notice that it's true. If I try to copy this formula down to here, you're going to say, you're going to notice that it's going to be false. That's going to be false. Uh, the rest of it is going to be false until it gets down to uh, 17 here and 18. So let me go ahead and copy this down. Double click to copy it down. You'll see, oh, yeah, it's saw it here too. Uh, there's CA, CA, CA here. Uh, that's true. But the rest of it is false because there's nothing there. So that's the example of using the AND function. They all have to match in order for it to be true. So now let's give an example of the OR function. So let's say that I want to see if any country, any, any country uh, would be GB. And I believe GB is Great Britain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an OR statement here. So it's, it's going to be the same here, where I have my IF statement. But instead of that or, AND, it's going to be an OR. right? So let me go and build this out. So this equals if this, whoops, this cell uh, equals, now I'm going to go here now to, let me go and move this tip here, D2. I'm going to also press 
F4 to lock it, to put the dollar sign in front of there. And oops, I forgot to wrap this around an OR statement. So in front of the D6, I'm going to put OR uh, and parentheses. And now we have our uh, logical uh, function, our logical arguments here. So if D6 equals uh, D2, also uh, if this one equals, uh, I'm going to just copy this. Let me select that, Control C to copy. And then go back here, Control V to paste. And instead of going back and selecting that cell in F4, let me go ahead and just uh, select my third one here. And if this cell equals, and then Control V to paste, because I copied that cell D2. All right, so I'm going to go close, close parentheses. And now I'm back into my if uh, function. So that logical test, if any of these equals GB, then it will be a true. If none of them, equal GB, it's going to be a false. So comma, so the value, if true, and that's going to be just the true uh, text. False, yep, that's going to be a false text. Oops. In parentheses, and close the parentheses. Actually, that's in quotes, I mean. And this is parentheses, control enter. And we have our output here, which is false. Of course, that's false, because there's no GB in here. But we'll notice when we get down to here in the third record here, it's going to be true. So let me go ahead and double click the fill handler to copy the formula down. And you notice when we get down here to the third record here, it finds that it's true. So as I mentioned before, uh, the AND function and the OR function uh, by themselves, they kind of have limited use. But when you combine it with other functions, you actually can do quite a lot. So in this case, we were able to find out uh, whether all the orders, uh, whether, whether these orders match all the countries, or if these orders had at least one entry for the countries. So there's actually a useful application there for the AND and OR functions when you combine it with other functions here. So that's an example. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.